Good morning, folks. Another day, another dollar. Today is Tuesday, and these are the top five things to know today in financial markets. Kicking things off at number one. Apple shares will be in the spotlight after the company warned that it would not meet its revenue guidance for its upcoming March quarter. Uh, Apple blamed uh, the impact of the coronavirus uh, in China as the main reason uh, for why uh, pretty much revenue will come in lower than expected. Uh, two weeks ago, Apple uh, forecast revenue between 63 billion to 67 billion dollars uh, at however the company did not provide an updated revenue forecast on that uh, so w we are seeing with the price action the dip buyers are showing up shares are only down three percent right now in pre-market they were down as much as six percent immediately after the announcement if you recall apple did issue a profit warning uh, pretty much this time one year ago back in january 2019 uh, and we all know how that worked out for the uh, dip buyers. Uh, I did uh, tell a, a couple of friends here in the office that I wouldn't be surprised if Apple ends up in the green. Uh, so let's be on the lookout for that. On to number two. Walmart reported weaker than expected earnings and revenue ahead of its uh, ahead of the opening bell uh, this morning. Uh, pretty much a worrying sign uh, that perhaps the health of the U.S. consumer is not as strong uh, as we uh, anticipated. Uh, to top it off, Walmart also uh, pretty much provided weak uh, full year outlook for 2021. Uh, so overall, not much uh, to uh, to like in Walmart's report. With that being said, shares are only down a bit right now. Uh, so we'll see. The, uh, Walmart did uh, increase its uh, dividend, uh, so perhaps that has something to do with it. On to number three in uh, the, your daily coronavirus update watch. Uh, China reported 98 new deaths on Monday, which is lower than the 105 reported on Sunday. We also saw uh, the number of new cases uh, slowing down uh, to 1,886, and that is down from uh, 2,048 the previous day. So overall, we are seeing a, 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 a an encouraging uh, trend where the number of uh, deaths are uh, trending down and the number of new confirmed cases are trending down as well. With that being said, these numbers are from China, and uh, we all know what uh, what that means. So uh, be on the lookout as well for any headlines uh, regarding coronavirus, which could sway sentiment as the session progresses. On to number four, stocks on Wall Street looks set for a down day. Markets were closed on Monday due to uh, President's Day. Uh, investors returning to the office this morning uh, obviously have to deal with Apple's profit warning, Walmart's lower than expected earnings, and uh, worries over the coronavirus. So obviously, uh, the Dow futures are down about 180 points right now. NASDAQ futures are down 0.8%. Looks like a down day on Wall Street. And finally, number five in politics. Former New York City Mayor Mike Bloomberg qualified for this week's uh, Democratic presidential debate in Nevada, scheduled for Wednesday. It will be the first time that Bloomberg stands on the same stage as his uh, fellow uh, rivals uh, for the uh, Democratic nomination. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see just how uh, you know he Bloomberg does in those debates, being that it is it is is his first time on that stage. There was a poll that was released a couple hours ago showing Bernie Sanders holding a double-digit lead uh, with 31% uh, polling right now and uh, Bloomberg at number two with 19%. That's it for me. May the trading guys be with you. Have a good day, everybody.